Today we're going to explain the superfluidity of helium with the key ring atom. Now, the superfluidity of helium has four things. Number one, it's a liquid. It doesn't freeze. Number two, it's frictionless. Number three, it crawls around on a flat surface. And number four, it crawls up the walls. And when you get over the key ring atom, we're going to show you all four of those characteristics. All right, this is a helium key ring atom, super cold. Uh, it's round like a ball, and it rolls. That's why it won't freeze. We have a video under hot and cold on this. You can go watch it and we explain it a little more. Now, secondly, is this is another helium atom, super cold. No electron ring entanglement. That's why you have no friction. These are just going to roll, and they're not going to entangle each other like balls. That's why they become frictionless. It's that easy. The third characteristic of the superfluidity of helium is it moves around on a flat surface. Now, all you have to do is think of it just like a car. If you get in your car and you give it some gas and the wheels start to turn, what happens when the wheels turn? You go in that direction. And that's what we're going to show you here with helium. That's uh, so what we have here. Cold helium. The electron rings are spinning like a wheel. So whenever it, it's like a tire touching the pavement. Whenever the tire spins, it goes. So these are going to be rolling around. And when one, one of these wheels touches, or one of these electron rings touches like a wheel, they're going to crawl. That's the third thing that helium does when it's super cold. It rolls around. It crawls on its own. Not hard to understand. And the fourth thing is why the super cold helium, the super fluidity of helium, why does it climb up the wall? We're going to show you here with gravity. So our fourth thing here is why the super cold helium crawl up like a side of a glass or a flask that it's in. Why does it pull up like that? Well, number one, you've got the wheels, which we saw, turning and going. But you've got another force that you've got to take into account, gravity. Now, we know gravity goes to the Earth, so there's going to be lots of gravity particles going down, which is going to force it down. All right, That's what it's going to do. But also remember, the flask has gravity particles going through each of its atoms. So if this was like a flask or a glass that super cold helium was in, as it got over here, and it got to right here, if you had very close enough gravity here going this way, and it was just slightly stronger than the gravity that's going to the earth, what's going to happen? It's going to cause it to force and push against the side of the glass or the flask that it's in, and once it does, when the wheels turn, it's going to crawl right up the wall. Gravity is going to be going into that, and it's going to hold it. And that's why it does that. It slides right up and down the wall, just like driving a car on a road. It's that easy. Now, if you take this model of the key ring app, and it explains why helium doesn't freeze, if it explains why helium doesn't have any friction when it gets cold, if it explains why helium crawls along uh, on a flat surface, and it also explains why helium climbs up the wall with the gravity. You have to say, is this right? Versus this. The old model that they teach in the school. Why can't you explain with this those characteristics? You better do some thinking about which one is right. Which model proves out? Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.